Welcome to the Toolsec tutorials of Autodesk Maya. All right, so Toolsec displacement is a nice tool that moves vertices based on bump maps, height maps, displacement maps, so on and so forth. That means you must have a proper map for this operation. Its type could be popular image formats like BMP, JPG, PNG, SVG, TGI, TIF, so on and so forth. All right. Click on the button with three dots to write image file name into its own line box. So let's select our image. I prepared an example image here for this purpose, as you can see. All right. Now select any polygonal object and click on the shape label to write into its own line box. However, there is one thing you should care about. The polygonal object must have a high number of vertices to fit better. The core algorithm of displacement is implemented using OpenMaya. So it will handle millions of vertices mostly in a few seconds. All right, so let's create a brand new polygon plane over here. Let's scale it up a little bit. Let's subdivide it a little bit. And let's click on the shape label to load it. All right. There are four axes that can be moved. World axes are X, Y, and Z. There's also one more for our normal axis of vertices. This N axis is probably what you need because it's suitable for most objects. It can move X, Y, and Z together depending on the normal vector. Then you can select red, green, blue, or alpha channels of specified image. And those float numbers are minimum and maximum limits of moving. A pure black pixel will be moved by a limit on the left over here and a pure white pixel will be moved by a limit on the right over here. Last but not least, type the UV name in its line box because matching process needs UVs. Its names are generally like map1 or UV set 1. All right. Now let's click on the apply button to see results. As you will realize, this image is now displaced into our shape. All right. I prepared another picture for the sake of this tutorial, which has different grayscale images in different layers. Let me show you. This is the red channel, green channel, blue channel, and one more for alpha channel. Let's select this image. And let's create another shape from content browser. And let's pick this bull, for instance. As you can see, this is a nice handsome bull. Let's click on this bull and let's click shape label to load it. All right. And let's subdivide it a little bit more because as you will remember, number of vertices must be hiked in order to fit better. All right. Let's select our channel and let's click on the apply button but you will get an error because its uv name is different on this one so let's type proper uv name here and let's click on the apply button again and wait a little bit for the process all right but the results are a little bit blurry so let's increase our limits a little bit more negative 2 positive 2 and click on the apply button and wait a little bit all right now you will see this pattern is now displaced into our bull shape so let's check green channel and click on the apply button to see results and all right now you will see this checker pattern is now displaced into our bull shape and let's check blue channel and wait just a little bit for results all right now you will see these circles are now displaced into our bull shape 
And finally, let's check our alpha channel and wait a little bit for the last time. All right. Now you will see these pizzas are now displaced into our bull shape. All right. Thanks for watching me. See you in the next video.